So they say there's no evidence, Josh, but they are going to yes. be on the lookout. I don't know. We'll see. Their transparency hasn't been amazing from what it seems like, right? <laughs> no, it's been a little muddy. <laughs> and seeing all those Next Star News Nation reports on it. So, uh, yeah. 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 Who knows? Something's out there. <laughs> uh, Seaside's a fun event happening this weekend. I know. Some uh, pretty incredible sculptures here coming to form, all thanks to the Seaside Sand Festival that's underway. I've been enjoying watching this all morning long, and some great progress is being done. It looks like maybe we got a turtle in formation there, some smiley faces further off to the left hand corner of your screen and a nice castle right there center screen as we continue to see those temperatures play out into the 60s. So some great working weather for those artists out there along the seaside areas. We expect to see just a few more clouds by the weekend and temperatures still hovering into the 60s. Also some great views out towards the Mount Hood Meadows area. Not a cloud to be seen in the sky as very little snowfall remains on Oregon's highest peak, but we are expecting to see a lot more of that sunshine here, at least in the Portland area where our temperature is already starting to approach 80 degrees and we are expecting to get back up into the low 90s nearing record breaking conditions for some of us as we keep a very close eye on the mercury this afternoon and evening as those clear skies can be seen widespread with our satellite and radar just a little bit of a marine layer playing with some of our coastal communities this afternoon but for the most part we are preparing for hot temperatures for valley locations Portland at 92 for our forecasted high today Salem at 91 Astoria slightly cooler but still in the mid 70s approaching your record of 83 at last set back in 1919 but we are getting close to that 1981 record of 96 in the Portland area although I think we'll be just a few degrees shy of that as we have already managed to have a good amount of 90 degree days 100 degree days 21 for those 90s for the bank for the 100 degree days so well above what's normal for us here across the Pacific Northwest and typically we see our last 90 degree day in Portland around September 5th but it's gone as late as October 5th that was back in 1980 but how often do the 90 degree temperatures find their way into the September month? Well, only about 4.5% of the time. And we've been just last year as late as September 26th, where we hit 90 degrees. But there are subtle signs that the fall season is quickly approaching. A few pops of colors here as we are now just one week away from the autumn equinox as a trough starts to build just to the north and west of us that will eventually help to push this high pressure the culprit for the heat further off to the central plains and eventually help to increase our cloud coverage and cooler temperatures once we start to work our way into the beginning of next week. So something to look forward to is those clear skies continue for the rest of this afternoon clear overnight takes us into some sunnier skies for the start of the day Saturday, but tomorrow not quite as warm as what we will experience this afternoon before a very weak system pushes its way on shore, increases the cloud coverage, drops our temperature, so mostly cloudy skies as we move into Sunday. And that's where you see that temperature trend falling back to the low 70s by the middle of next week. That puts us below normal today. Well, above normal at 92, maybe some of that haze still lingering up in the upper layers of the atmosphere as we fall to about 60 degrees tonight. Seven day forecast. There you go. The hot sunny weather continues through Saturday. Then that weak system pushes its way on shore Sunday, dropping those temperatures into the upper 70s. But low 70s come Tuesday, Wednesday with maybe an isolated raindrop or two. That will be a nice change of pace for us here across the Pacific Northwest and give us a little bit of a taste of this uh, fall like season. I'm, I'm, I'm over wearing sleeveless dresses, so I'm ready for it. Bye summer. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>